top 600 with the reanimator. You telling me this is a bad deck? I show you bad deck. This. Every deck that loses against me. Every single one is kind of a bad deck. Because I will come into your house and steal your charcuterie, which is French for ham and stuff like that. What up, brothers and sisters, and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Max Malone. Thank you all so very freaking much for tuning in. I hope you're having the most wonderful day of your entire freaking life. I have a headache from freaking hell. I don't know which devil I made angry today that he would put his pitchfork right into my ears, but that's just what's going on. It's like pulsating and everything, but it will never, never ever stop me from bringing you a fresh new deck every single day. I will be here when everybody sleeps. I will be crawling under their beds and come down in the morning with a fresh breakfast, a good old coffee, and tell them, hey, Maloney loves you. So make sure to subscribe to the channel, heading up with the yammering. Let's get into the reanimator hammering. People said that this deck ain't good, so I made it better. <laughs> I made it better. I took out the loaf, and I put in some cards that are just so good with this deck, I didn't even realize. So one of the biggest weaknesses of this deck was you know, they could just destroy your creatures and stuff like that. So put in a coma. Indestructible. You know, you just sacrifice one of these little slugs. You get indestructibility of these serpents. You just, you know, tap one of them down. You remove one of their things out of the game completely. You tap it. They cannot use it anymore. That is just amazing. And that is exactly what we want to do. Another new addition is the All-Seeing Arbiter. I, I'm kidding. The All-Seeing Arbiter. He's here. He sees everything, but what he does is even freaking better. Because we are a discard deck. So every time that it enters the battlefield or attacks, you draw two cards and discard a card. We want to do that. That is actually kind of our plan. And every time that you discard a card, the target creature the opponent controls gets minus 6 minus 0, where X is the number of different mana values amongst cards in your graveyard. Though. And that is just so good. Because they can do whatever they want with the little measly creatures. They have minus everything now. Because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different mana values that we can achieve. And we will achieve them all. So a creature can have minus seven, minus oh. What is a creature going to do with minus seven, minus oh? Exactly. Nothing, I tell you. Nothing. Xanatar, just, I love him, man. Xanatar, you're my favorite. Beholder freaking ever. Olivia is just super good in here for that last bit of damage. If you have the Crimson Pride in your graveyard to bring it back, you bring back something else, like the Vampire Demon Noble here, you now have a legendary vampire. And that means that, uh, you know, it doesn't get exiled when the uh, Olivia dies. That is pretty darn good in my eyes. I don't know what happens if they then destroy the Xander, if it then gets exiled, but maybe we will all find out together. Talks room. Two of them? Because we actually need them. In today's meta, a Toxril is one of the best things you can get. It shrivels down their things, then it destroys their things. We're gaining life if our meat of massacre is down. We're gaining freaking creatures every time one of their shrivelly things dies. And it is just Chef's kiss freaking delicious. We do have two burn down the houses, why not more? Because you know we have the meat of maskers, and with all the card draw that we have, we will get in there. We have the Shadow's Verdict, because it doesn't care about our big old things in the graveyard or anywhere else. It cares about the Kaito a little bit, but you know, if you have to sacrifice your Kaito to get rid of the whole freaking board, worth it my friends, absolutely worth it, because we have no ways to get a Kaito back anyways. And, you know, as long as we have a Master's Charm in our graveyard somewhere in there, the mana value for the graveyard shift and all of these uh, all-seeing arbiters that we have, which is one, <laughs> is still achieved. Same with the Tainted Indulgence, but we actually want to use a Tainted Indulgence in the early game as a discard spell, and later on as a card draw, because we will have five or more value. And a graveyard shift, you know, one of the most freaking greatest cards freaking ever, man. Instant Reanimator. Sign me up, take my money, and I shall not speak anymore, or whatever the meme was, I, I don't remember. So, we have the graveyard shift here to bring all of these back. 
That is our plan, you know? And we were getting in there because we have the big score that we can discard these things. We have the Kaito, so we can discard one of these things, draw a card. All of that, we have the Tainted Indulgence. What else do you want? We have the Maestro's Charm. So we can look at five cards, put one of them in our hand and the rest in our graveyard. So if the rest is all of these and the other card is this, that means that you have a, a variety of things to choose from and that is just super freaking nice. Inferno Grass and Blood Chief's Thirst are in here because two mana uh, removal, one mana removal. We care about mana value. We have the Meat of Massacre, of course. Play this first, then burn down the house, then the Toxrill. Just go ham, my friends. Aggro freaking hates this deck. It really hates it. So just imagine they have two creatures on the battlefield, you put the coma down on their end turn. Now it enters the battlefield with a snail the turn afterwards, uh, it gets a snail. You tap down one of their things, you bring down the Olivia. Whatever you want to do, whatever you want to do, my friend, you will be able to freaking achieve it. Landwise, we have two Takanumas in here, because you know we want to mill ourselves. And we have two Hive of the Eye Tyrant, just in case. You know, if the game goes on like for... 200 minutes and you uh, have nothing left to play the hive of the eye tyrant will be your best freaking friend in the known universe and yes this is a deck that doesn't want to make ninjas if it doesn't have to if you have to well you have to but if you don't if you don't have to don't do it because we can actually like you know discard things that we won't have in our graveyard like all of these and just remember you will never be able to play the coma unless you have the big score as well so throw it away but I love the coma. I had to play it once more. One of my favorite decks ever was to make Scoot Swarms into comas. 250 of them, to be honest. You can find that on my channel. So, what else is there to say? We have a lot of double lands, and of course, Alexander's Lounge in here. And a lot of freaking fun. Just remember that this also deals 5 damage to a creature or a planeswalker, and that it can drain your opponent for 3. So, if they're down to 3 life, you have the Master's Charm, you win. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. It is just what it freaking is. Also, heads up, internet died during the video recording. I think I deleted that one already, but just so you know, things get a little uh, crazy once more today. Holy smokes. My headache. It's good thing I'm done with recording because my headache is getting freaking insane. So thank you all so very freaking much. I hope that you will enjoy Haddock Malone, he will be joined by Evil Malone, I heard today. Is he here already? Malone? Evil Malone? Nope. Alright, so thank you all so very freaking much. This is sluggishly good. I'm Max Malone, and I will see you in those toxic games. I tried a little discard deck earlier. Nah, nah, it's just too slow against Boros. Like, there's so little you can do if Boros going first. There is so little. Opponent's going first here. If we draw one land, we're good. If we ever draw one land. And it's Boros again. It's just Boros right freaking again. Okay, I mean, I'm getting rid of this. There's no need not to. No freaking need not to. Also, Boros going first. Hey, perfect start, you know? Perfect start for them. Not for us, though. Not for us. All right. But we will see if they get it all here. Or if we can get a little chance at that little dance. Well, it doesn't look like we do, though. Does not look like we do get a little chance at a little dance. So, but maybe, who knows? We do get it. Who knows? Another hopeful initiate. Well, ain't that Pichadori? The answer is no. No, it ain't Pichadori. All right, we're still looking for a oh, land here. Well, that now ain't no land. But this is still all right, you know? As long as you find a land sooner or later, we're super good. Super good. Okay. I'm not doing anything here. Well, we are looking super good now. Because I will absolutely freaking draw yet another land. No I think we can get rid of the Kaito. We don't really need it. But we can also do this now. All right, Boros. Being a little bit unlucky here, I see, eh? Being a little bit unlucky. Because now we even have the Shadow's freaking Verdict. We have the Shave Yard, uh, the shave yard Grift. <laughs> Shave it up, Grift. Shave it up. All right. Yeah, that ain't enough, my friend. Just ain't freaking enough. Okay. I mean, hey, you, you know, me. I am uh, totally fine with everything that's happening here. Getting rid of this land right here. 
playing this one. Get it down, graveyard shift. And here is the Arbiter. Here it is. The Grand Arbiter of all freaking times. Uh, we're getting rid of um, the Tainted Indulgence. Yes. Yes, we are. Oh, yes, we are. So, what you gonna do now, my friend? Come in and attack. I want to see you attacking in here. I want to see you. Oh, they have the Royal Eruption. Interesting. That still isn't enough, you know? Still ain't gonna do too much here. <laughs> okay, I hope it was worth it. I hope it was. Because now, my friend, we're only freaking starting. We are only freaking a starting, my friend. Oh, yes. Yes. Do I need to do it like this? I don't. Do I want to do it like this? I absolutely do. I absolutely do. All right, they will be attacking my Kaito here, but also my face, you know. And then it's going to be great, because this is a 7-7. It really is. Oh, no. Am I saving my Kaito here? Am I saving it? I think that I am. I'm saving my Kaito. There's literally no reason for me not to, you know? Literally, Nyan, so, he ever. Because I can still destroy this. We're still gaining some life. They're out of cards. I can be a little bit cheeky here is what I can. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I can. I can be a little bit cheeky. So, what can we draw here? Alexander's Lounge. Not really needed. Not at all, even. Not at freaking all. All right. And I'm just doing this now. Because give me one darn new piece right here. So, now we have a little slug. Now we do have a little slug. And we will see what our opponent's doing. We are just getting in. We are just getting freaking in, man. That is ten. If they cannot take care of us next turn... Ooh, Boros. Ooh, Boros. I think that, that was it. I think the game is pretty darn freaking over. Oh, no. The horror. The horror. Oh, how could you? How could you steal my slug? Well, that is pretty darn good, isn't it? <laughs> Are we playing with them a little bit? Are we now? I don't know, man. I think we are. I think we're toying with them just a little bit. Just, you know, just for one more turn here. Just for one more turn. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Just toying with them for one more freaking a turn. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Alright, so, Impressive. we have our own Kumano faces Kakasan here. Maybe we can beat him here. <laughs> oh, Boros. Who is the Boros player now? Who is it? It's me. I am the Boros player now. And here we go. Here we freaking go. Oh, delicious. Freaking delicious. Because now we're getting in there for that little bit of damage. And, uh, you know, now we're doing this. Now we're just doing this. Oh, delicious. And they would have stayed with a land on top, you know? Get out of here, Boros! I will play your deck! I will steal your deck! I will steal your whole freaking existence and become you! The best of the best! The best! It was just in the middle of the game and my internet went down for 40 freaking 5 minutes. We live in a world where when the internet goes down, oh, you aren't happy at all. No, sir, I can tell you that much. So, yeah, my router was blinking, like it was a little red light blinking, you know? Didn't do it. I was just afraid that it happened just once more here. And, yeah, I was just sitting here, and nothing happened. I don't know what's going on. Repair is... Uh, I really like this hand. I think we can keep it. I think this one's a keeper. Yes, sir, it is. So, we got, do got the Kaido, we have the Shadow's Verdict. If we're up against another Boros deck, which the chances are high because they're going first. They're trying to hide it with their sleeves. But trust me. Oh, okay. Alright. You got me intrigued, my friend. You got me intrigued. Demir, eh? Is this Vampires? It is Vampires. It's just a mirror match. Crazy. Alright, bring down the heat, Leperis. Bring the heat. I want to get burned. I want to get burned. Gotta turn around. All right, what you gonna do here? I think they have detainted indulgence themselves. Yes, they do. I think they do. Siphon inside, you piece of garbage. 
I really don't like you stealing my cards. That is my thing. I want to be stealing cards. Yes, I do. But the one got on the bottom of our library and we will never know what it is. Never. Okay. All right, mirror match it is. But they're stealing. I don't like that one bit. I do not like it. One, a singular bit. All right, let's try with the Kaido here. They do have a counter spell, so be it. If they don't, well, then we're good, you know? Then we're freaking good. So what you doing here, my friend? What are you doing here? I should have kept the Kaido. The spell pierce? Wow. We're up against a cheeky one, aren't we? If this goes on like this, though, well, I like our chances. I don't really like them. We were just sitting here doing nothing, waiting until we can play our talks real. Why the heck not, you know? Why the heck not? And we still have Infernal Grass, we still have Meadow Maskers and everything. So, yeah, we might be going places. Toyota. We will see, though. Last game went pretty well, if I remember correctly, like it's 45 minutes ago. So, yeah. <laughs> they might also just siphon inside here. I think that is what they want to do. Yeah, they want to steal lands, I reckon. You want to steal my land, Leparis? You want to steal it? If you play one of my creatures, I'm prepared, you know? I also have a hair in my... Ew! I had a hair in my mouth. I don't like that. They stole the land. They didn't have it themselves, so they had to steal mine. This is my land. Get out of my land. Alright, we're just chilling. We're just freaking chilling. Let us see what else they can steal here. The double siphon inside, man. That hurts. That really, really hurts. So they're playing another one here. Just, you know, keep on stealing. I mean, hey, maybe they can keep us from ever having a land. There's a high chance that that happens, you know? And I wouldn't like it at all. I just would not like it. But, you know, the chances are just the same. If they steal a land here, they put another one on bottom, there's still the exact same amount of chance that, uh, you know, it's all my land. This is my land. This is my land. Is this my land? It is not. This is also not. This is also not. But all the other ones are my freaking land. All right. Strap in for a long run. Because we are in here for a long run, man. For a long freaking run. All we've got to do is them to play something of ours. We destroy it and shaboom. And shabwam. One, two, three, four, five. They might have stolen, you know, Xander? Who knows? Maybe they did. Is this also mine? No, it's not. That is theirs. Okay. You can keep that one. We're just doing nothing right now. We're just freaking chilling, you know? Just freaking chilling. Waiting for them to do something. And whatever it is they're doing, we will be kind of fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Come on, boy. Play something, Liparis. I hate you for stealing my deck. You're coming into my kitchen. Put your hands in my drawer. Ain't gonna freaking happen, my friend. Ain't gonna happen. This also ain't gonna happen. No way, Jose. Bring it down, Xerath's son. What are we doing here, my friend? What is going on, man? The corpse appraiser. All right, there's no creatures in here. They will get rid of their own Serret son. Okay. Interesting. Pretty darn interesting. So all we need is a little discard action and we're good, you know? Just a little, little discard action. And we are actually pretty darn freaking good. So they will be stealing once more here with the Siphon inside, I reckon. I would be doing it. I would. I know I would. So we could also just, you know, Shadow's Verdict here. Just for security measures, you know? could also try and go with the Xanatari. Give me one darn good reason why I shouldn't. One freaking darn good reason why I shouldn't. Do they really have a counter spell now here? Do you really have it? And how many more do you have is the question that I'm having. We will have to find out. Is this a rogue? It is a rogue. They could technically cycle it in with these there. It's interesting. Okay. Oh, you have make disappear. Okay, all right, so, will it be a Sarit Sun though? Will there? We will have to find out all together now, don't we? They have another one. Chances are here, you know? Chances are freaking here. Crazy, man. Crazy. He could still have it. Could still freaking have it. Wouldn't be surprised at all. So, 
I mean, they had one. They had two counter spells. They had two siphon insights. You know, chances are here. Chances are freaking everywhere. And they stole another land. Come on, man. That is all my land. Who are you? Americans coming to the Indians in the first year? Yeah, that is what you are. That is what you are. All right, right now we cannot destroy him. But we're still trying here, my friends. We're still freaking trying. The Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Okay. I am getting rid of everything here now. Just doing it for security matters. You never know. If they now really have another freaking counter spell. Oh. Then you know about my idea of the game here. Then you know what I have to say. Rigged, my friends. Freaking rigged, man. Get out of here. They really have it. They do not. Okay, they do not have it. Good, good. I like it. I like it a lot. So what do you have, though? What do you have, though? So they will be able to do some shenanigans here. That is fine, though. Absolutely fine. We haven't seen any removal up until now. That is kind of crazy to me. All right, another spell pierce Gonzo. I like that. I really do. But what else, man, Paris? Another corpse appraiser? Oh, come on. Really now? Mm, okay, cheeky game. Okay, cheeky. Do not like it in the slightest. Another make this appear here, though. Okay. Oh, they really, really had another one here. That is pretty darn brutal. That is indeed pretty darn brutal. I do not like it one bit. Not in the slightest. All right, let us see if we can do it here. Would be good. Do you have two counter spells in hand? I mean, they threw one disappear away, you know? They threw one spell pierce away. So the chances are high that they just have both of them once more. I would not be surprised, I have to say. Would not be surprised in the slightest. A little bit, but not too much, you know? Just not too much. The negate, are you kidding me? How many more freaking counter spells do you have, man? How many more? Sheesh, man. Sheesh. Is your hand only counter spells now? Is it? Is it? No, it ain't. All right. Very good. Very darn good. But I wouldn't be surprised if you just have another Corpse Appraiser here. One, two, three, four. What is your last card here? Soaring Thug. Interesting. Pretty darn interesting. So we will see, we still do have the Graveyard Shift, you know? And depending on what they mill us here, we're kinda darn happy. They have another Zerit Sun in hand, man. I wouldn't be surprised. Not at all. Not. Yet. Eol. Are you- That is the third one, dude! That is your third one, man! Unreal. Just unreal. I don't wanna believe it. I really, really don't wanna freaking believe it, man. Three corpse appraisers! The game is trying real hard to get to help you out here, my friend. It is trying real, real darn harsh. Really, really darn freaking harsh. Now watch him. Watch him have it. Okay, they don't have it. Don't freaking have it. Do you have a removal in Anto? I have not seen removal up until now. So I like that. I really do. Another soaring thought thief. Like as I said, man. The game is trying real hard to help them out. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Come on now here. Come on now here. That is just a little much. Just a slight smidgen of too muchness, you know? Just a slight. Little smidgen of too muchness. Okay. Unfreaking real, man. Unfreaking real. Holy smoking Jesus. Just a double of everything, man. Two Soaring Thought. Three of them. Three Soaring Thought Thieves. Three Corpse Appraisers. All of the counter spells. All of them. But it doesn't look like they have target removal. At least I hope they don't. At least I just hope they freaking don't. Alright. That is a cycle land. That is no target removal. I like that a lot. 
But what's a grand freaking scheme here, my friend? What is it? We're only attacking in with this. And this and this. Okay. Well, not with this even. Only with this? Why, though? Yeah, you should totally attack in with everything. I bet they have a Zarid Sun in hand now. I bet they do. Oh, my lord. Oh, my sweet lord. Oh, come on. Come on, man. Oh, cancel. Here comes the Zarid Sun. Here it comes. I'm so darn certain. Yep. No. No Zarid Sun. Okay. All right. Interesting. Pretty freaking interesting. What do you have, though? Meadog Mask for two now? Meadog Mask for two now. Well, that would still give me some slugs. So I'm not even too, like, you know, mad about it. Just, just slightly, you know, just slightly. <laughs> would just slightly be mad about it. Just, just a smidgen of madness. Oh my, they're not doing anything here. Not at all. Okay. All right, I like that. I really do. Really do freaking like it. Holy smokes. Are we really doing stuff here? Are we now? Are we really, really doing stuff here now? Well, we'll have to see, don't we? I mean, there are the corpse appraisers. And this has been 12 minutes of freaking pain already. So we will see how this turns out, you know? Okay. I like it, I really do. And we still have the graveyard shift here to go, you know? We still have a lot of things to do. So, and this soaring thought thief is dying as well now. Real darn good. Really, really darn freaking good. Okay, so. <laughs> coming in here, trying to mill me. Are you serious, man? Are you freaking serious? The Evelyn, okay. Interesting. You got a land and a little vampire here. Couldn't care less about that, man. I could not care less. And I won't care less. I will just return the coma to my hand. That is what I'm going to do uh, to the battlefield. Cycling another land. You can have so many Xander. This is a crazy freaking match, man. A crazy freaking match, man. I have to say, like this is going like 13 minutes already. <laughs> what is even going on, man? What is even freaking going on, man? Do you think they have another negate in hand? Do you think they have it? I don't know. We will have to find out together now, don't we? So, what is a grand freaking scheme here? What is it? You're attacking him with this. Okay. I'm milling some more. That is fine by me. And I can just destroy this now. And I will. And I freaking will. With this, you know. And if they do have a counter spell, they're going to use it here. I'm so certain. So certain that they will. We could also have another evil in here. But we will have to see, don't we? Well, first things first, I'll let the attack happen. And now I shoot it for three. They're losing two life here. Which is extraordinarily good. Two, four, six, eight, nine. We do have exactly have the mana here. Do exactly freaking have it. Holy smoke, seriously. All of this, what just happened, is so freaking bananas, man. Why can't I. Full control. Thank you, game. All right. Getting rid of the evil in here. Making ourselves another slug. Resolve. Yes. Use your mana. Use it all. Okay, they don't use it all. They don't freaking use it all. All right. All right. Time to graveyard shift, my friend. Time to freaking graveyard shift. Because then I can at the upkeep. You know, I'm going out of full control. I was just utterly confused why this happened. Do you have it? Do you freaking have it? Do you not, my friend? You do not have it. You do not freaking have it. That is what is up, man. Slugs and snails, baby. Scoops and ladders. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, don't tell me it ain't so, my friend. Don't you tell me it ain't so. Olivia, get out of here, man. Olivia, get out of here. I want to see you now. I want to see you on the battlefield. Okay, so. We are attacking in with everything. <laughs> you know who likes this? I do. I like it. I am back from the Shadow Realm and I'm here to bring evil upon our opponents. Here I am, my name's Evil Malone. There was the match of the century. Even Evil Malone came back for that one. Yes, I did. I liked it a lot. I really, really did. Oh, my friend. Oh, what is this now? Get out of here, man. Get out of here. All right, I like this, though. And, uh, of course, I'm going with the Storm Carved Coast here. All righty. So we need lands. That is all I can say here. We really do. Oh my! A long time no see! Longest time no see! Okay! So we go with the Tainted Indulgence here. We don't have a reanimator spell yet, but we might find it very soon. So we will just, you know, discard a little Toxrill here. Discard a little Toxrill. That's all I gotta do. Okay, Toxrill. You out of here, my friend. You are freaking out of here. Oh, the dog's screaming with me. Oh, get under your blanket, little doggo. Get under there. Get under there. All right, so we're doing something crazy here. We're shooting this one, and then in reaction to their freaking thing, we just have the Inferno Grasp, you know? We give him a little nice. And, uh, yeah, you know, just do this now. I mean, it's a two for two. Totally freaking worth it in my eyes. Yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. So with the burn down the house, we're pretty darn happy. With the Master's Charm, we're pretty darn happy as well. Because with that, you know, we can get ourselves a freaking reanimator spell in our deck. I was so certain that this was freaking runes. I was so certain that it was. So what does this give? Well, I mean, that's also pretty darn good, isn't it? <laughs> that is also pretty darn good, isn't it? Oh, yes, it is. So what do we have in here? The Tox Rill? Yes, we do. Oh, yes, we do. Okay. So. We will try and do some things here. But I feel like with the talks, we're pretty darn looking pretty darn good, you know? We'll try and uh, deal five here because they will be doing more stuff that I don't like at all. And we will see what that stuff will be doing. And what it will be being. What the stuff will be being. Does that even make sense? Oh my lord, they didn't have any stuff. They did not have stuff. The Dragon's Guard Elite, they'd rather have that now for stuff? Okay. Well, that is that is most certainly stuff, you know? But the thing is that I think that it is totally worth it to do this, do this now. Because they will be out of resources. Then we bring back the Tox Room. In instant speed now even. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even realize. I did not even realize, man. Didn't even freaking realize it. But you know, we just hard cast Xandar here, man. Xanatar, get out of here, man. Oh, you have a removal now. Well, ain't that amazing. I really don't care. Super David. Oh my, okay. <laughs> that was unexpected. Even the dog is amazed. Even the freaking dog is amazed. All right, what you doing here, though? Super David. You are Super David, coming down in a mystery on the street. A mystery on the street. All right, that is, like, you will lose cards here, you know that? You will just freaking lose cards here. And uh, we will push our freaking Sanitar here. And we will just keep him a land on top. What are you going to do with a land? I don't know, man. I really don't know. So we will do stuff until there's a land on top. Okay. I, I'm just, you know, I just... Could not care less about anything that you're doing here. Anything. Alright, they lost the land here. What is on top? The snakeskin veil. Well, I don't want him to have that for certain. 
I'm going to put it on my Xanatar here. My Xanatar here. And now we're good. Now we're pretty darn freaking good. Let's just smash in there. Okay. Ending the turn. Now they have a land on more. <laughs> One land more for them. They might have something to target the, the, the Illuminator Virtuoso. But we will see. Oh my. Okay. That is... That is pretty darn Harry Potter of you, my friend. Pretty darn Harry Potter of you. Okay. Alright. I mean, hey. That is questionable, to say the least. Questionable. But we will still see what they're getting here. Like, once more, we can still block with the Toxrail here. And I think that we kinda have to. Kinda freaking have to. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Absolutely necessary. Depending on what they do here. You can only do it once during each turn, right? Yes. Let's bring it down. It doesn't look like they have anything. It just does not look like it. And if they do have something here, which they don't, we're still pretty darn good, aren't we? Yes, we are, Andy Scoop! Who is Super now? It's Batman! I am Batman! Top 600 with the reanimator! You're telling me this is a bad deck? I show you bad deck! This! Every deck that loses against me, every single one, is kind of a bad deck. Because I will come into your house and steal your charcuterie, which is French for ham and stuff like that. Get out of here, man. Get out of here. Alrighty, we're up against a trade. I was still drinking. I was standing up and drinking. So, uh, yeah, that's why I'm only here now and not, like, doing, like, the post-talk that I usually do. Alrighty. Okay, game. I do not like that too much, you know? I wish I had other things to do right now. Like, you know, some discard would come a long way. We do have some discard. Don't you think we don't? Because the answer is we do. Sculpture of Winter. Oh, no bueno. No bueno at all. Just no bueno. Well, there it is now. I'm using it right away. Well, I'm getting rid of the coma here. Because it is just so good. Alright. So as long as we find some land, I'm pretty darn happy because this... <laughs> Poker gods, my friend. Poker gods, as we like to call them. Yes, we do. Well, there ain't no land, but it will help us find some land, hopefully. Hopefully it does. Alrighty. I could sneak right by. I mean, we started with three lands in our starting hand. It's not like we didn't, you know? Alright. Are you kidding me, man? Are you freaking kidding me, man? No land? Really? Alright, I mean, it is what it is. What am I supposed to do about it? What am I supposed to do about it? I could have found a land here, you know? That would have been very cool. Very freaking cool. But I haven't. I haven't found a land. And that is just... Terribly painful. Terribly painful. Yes. Okay. Well, here's the land now. It's just a little... <laughs> little wrong, you know? Just a little wrong kind of land. Just a wrong kind of land. Okay, man. Are we losing here now to non-lands? There is a chance we are, you know? Well, there's a land now. I like that. We'll be getting rid of a graveyard shift here. And, uh, yeah. We will see if we survive here. Wait. Wait. Two, four, six. We're going down to seven. We have to end the turn here. And just hope for the freaking best. Hope for the best! That they don't have it all, you know? If they do have it all, well, we're just darn screwed, aren't we? Yes, we will be. Yes, we will be, dude. Darn freaking screwed. Alright, here comes the freaking thing that I'm very afraid of. Yep, the planes. Whoa, my lord. Okay, well, that, that was more than, like, you know, I thought it would happen. Buddy, buddy, we're still freaking dead here, you know. Yeah, we, we drew the land once too late. One turn too late. Just one singular turn too late. 
If we would have drawn a land one turn sooner, it would have been Peachy Frickin' Dory. But like this, it just ain't. Good game, my friend. Good game. Nothing I could have done, though. Nothing. Like, if I would have done this now, the outcome would have still de 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 determined before. Outcome would still have been the same. One land too slow, man. Mm -mm. Oh, one land too slow. I mean, we drew so many cards. We drew them all. But we didn't find what we needed. We did not. Get out of here, Mono Green. Get out of here. It would have been darn nice to find a land there. Would have been darn nice. Oh, listen to me now. I've been listening to a lot of soul today. I'm in a solely mood. So, Bruja, I can tell you right away that this is Boros. Going full circle here. But we're going freaking first. I love it. I really do. Really, really do, man. I told you it was Boros. Oh, it's mono freaking white. Long time no see, my mono white friend. Long time no see. As long as we find one land here, we're super good, you know? One singular land, we're super freaking good. Well, we aren't freaking finding it now, are we? Well, we will have to use the Master's Charm here. Just to find a freaking land is what we do. Oh my sweet lord. Okay. Let's hope to find a land here. There would have not been a single land up until then. That is pretty darn brutal, man. Pretty darn brutal. It's Mono White. I cannot believe the people are still playing Mono White. Alright, but we're doing something amazing here now. Because we're doing this. And, uh, you know, then we're doing this. And then we're doing this once more. So, yeah. What you gonna do now, Mr. Subruja? Baruja, brother man. What you gonna do? They have a wandering amper, don't they? They do have a wandering freaking amper. I'm pretty darn certain that they do. Pretty darn certain that they do. Yes, they do have a wandering amper. Ain't that amazing? It is. It is pretty darn amazing. All right. But the thing is... We're still burning down the house. Because even if they do have wandering emperor to bring it down here, they cannot protect the Rattaline now, can they? And we're getting two life back. Totally freaking worth it. Because, you know, the thing is, if they bring it down, they push the Rattaline, they bring down another counter on the Rattaline, it becomes way too big for my freaking burn down the house here. Way too big. So, they think I have nothing here. But I do have thanks. I do have thanks. And I like those thanks. I really do. So I even might be waiting here for one turn. Because, you know, if they don't push too much damage here, that is absolutely fine by me. Alrighty. So, we're chilling here for one singular turn. One singular turn. They have another Wandering Emperor, by the way. They have two of them. That is why priority is holding up all the time. That is the reason why. Okay. Go ahead. How do you do that? Strike fast and strike Hard. But we're doing this now. Maybe we even find like a removal. That would be pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. Well, that's no removal here. But we can keep the Arbiter if we want to. We really, really can. And we will. We will just freaking keep it here. Because the thing is, maybe they do have, you know, something that I don't like. Like, I don't know, a, um, oh my, okay. Alright, I think I'm getting rid of this. Keeping up my lands that I can use. There's literally no reason for not doing this. So even if they have like a, um, you know, the, the removal thing. The, um, oh, what's his face? I now forgot the name. Even if they do have the uh, Brutal Cathar here, <laughs> that is still alright with me, you know? Kinds. Still a okay -o. a okay -o with Mayo. Making another Samurai. The hopeful initiate. I think they still do have another freaking Wandering Emperor here. I just believe they do. Okay, this is pretty darn good. 
this is pretty darn good, man. Thanks. Pretty I'll darn good. All right, I will keep uh, the tox rail here. And now do this. Now I will be attacking the Wandering Emperor. And see if they do have another one. If they do, well, that's just what it is. You know, nothing I can do about it. All right. I mean, hey, that is all pretty darn good. I like it all. I really do. Really freaking do. Okay. So do you have it? Do you have a second Wandering Emperor? I mean, you have only drawn like 14 cards. Why shouldn't you have two of everything? I knew it. I freaking knew it. Yes, I told you they had it. I freaking told you that they freaking had it. Okay. But we're still super fine here, you know? Super freaking fine here. Because I will be just slamming down this Toxel right now. And the lid. Alright. So, now all of the air they scoop! Get out of here! Mono freaking white! Four out of five with the reanimator! I wish I had more time! But time is of the essence today, and I will be coming back. And uh, until then, I will be here. I have a headache from hell. Bam, bam. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And it's getting worse and worse. So, yeah, let's wrap this up, my friends, so that I can take some medicine and to go out on a walk with my little doggo that I had to throw out for the end of the recording because he was cool all the time but in the end he started screaming maybe he realized that I have a headache and he was like dude stop recording now but you know I still have to do the intro and the outro because every outro every single outro is one of the most important parts of my videos because I get to say thank you to each and every one of my members and each and every one of my patrons which are, you know, kind of the same with different names, but kind of the same. You know, it's like twins. Not conjoined twins, but you know, at least like, you know, exactly likewise looking freaking twins. That is what they are. So every one of you on this beautiful list, thank you so much. And you, you, oh, you as well. Don't you think I forgot about you? And you, and here comes the Nico Boluses. So from the bottom of my heart, Thank you also very freaking much. If you want to check out the Patreon and the membership, well, there's a button below every single video, as per usual. And there's a link to the patronage. So choose your poison and join the club. But hey, always think about yourself first. If you cannot afford to buy yourself a sandwich, you should not afford yourself to support me. Easy as freaking pie. Because I always want you guys to be freaking happy. That is why I'm doing this every single day. No matter what you do. You might have realized... That it's all about you being happy, not about you paying me. So, but if you want to pay me, hey, hey, oh, I gotta say, no, hey, hey, oh, hey, hey, oh, oh, my lord, my head, I should stop screaming. So thank you all so very freaking much. Just remember that each and every single one of you is pretty freaking sweet. I'm Max Malone, and I will see you all tomorrow.